Hello, uh, am I here with you today? Uh, Patrick Frank, it's, uh, go ahead. Category Manager for Electrification for Green Marine. Hey. Yeah, so, uh, can you tell me about what what you do and uh, what the needs to wait in terms of yeah. manufacturing or electric more support? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, uh, at Mercury, we've got our Avatar lineup, uh, so fully electric product, uh, starting with the low end in terms of power, the seven point five right here. Yeah. So, so that directly converts to one horsepower drop shaft. We accelerates like a three point five you know, up that. And the step up, we've got power twenty is one hundred and five, and so direct conversion is up. The prop shaft is this three horsepower five horsepower. But accelerates like D5, D4, four stroke, side by side. You know, that last thing display here. Well, the last one is got for one test in. That is directly like to a 15 horse of the Alongside our propulsion units, uh, we've got uh, a slate of battery options as well. Uh, so 70.5 all the way at the end. Yeah. Because they didn't want that comfort. Integrated one, fill out our battery. Uh, of course, the Twilio Vents are in five. Realize there are two point kilowatt hour battery and two point five kilowatt hour battery. We blast it on a ten as paired to the uh, five gold ones. So, high level. That's that's Aptools. Uh We've got Charger Super. There's a that whole system as well, uh, and some other things. Uh, Pointer Excited to be participating in electric condition now. Really? Named. So, a hundred seventy years to all the things. Chin. Put into uh, any host that uh, the music start, but I Yeah, yeah. So right now, on uh, the one horsepower side of things, we're seeing a lot of ammo. It's around tenders or D's, sale market, like some small fishing vessels. We uh, then want to step up into power, without get into some more traditional vessel types. So the music is kind of right here. Hold up on the shoe goats, say small roundabouts. We do that wings. Right. I'm the one ten E one five two mobs. I mean it, it's, it should be depending on what kind of the boats it is, but yeah, how, how long is it does a battery last? Yeah, so all of our Navator products in the standard system uh, were designed to have one hour's worth of front time and the cover but on certain vessels if you decrease your power output to let's say fifty percent and you get a lot more out of it. So this been is five hours or not so good. 25% of running pretty much all day. So it depends how you run it, uh, it depends on the vessel type, uh, but it's not necessarily a linear series. Good. So if we were another cheap thing, make sure uh, this, my first time told me the same, it was a battery, battery, both of us. And I have an idea. Do you know anything about the new changer for the fleet charging? Yeah, so with our Avatar product right now, it's a uh, 48 volt architecture. Um, so our chargers can plug into mm -hmm. one tent uh, while the monitoring will be doing it. So, we have the ways in terms of between this listing and this journey. So, uh, we, um, we're a concept over there, even which uh, this board this is purely a concept. Um, we would uh, incorporate level two chargers and then uh, enable these to ask be not just bit. Uh, and then how long does it take to charge with under 10 prices? So for these guys, we got a pretty different charging options. Um, as to what can stay from 745, you know, is it your 30 watt charger? Um, so that'll be charged uh, uh, our one kilowatt hour pack. Drink the ramp out, it's a cut. Um, that can upgrade to our 520 watt charger. You know, uh, one kilowatt hour battery. That'll put the charge back down to the old less revolver stuff. Me too. We'll get some other other packs. Uh, the one three silver pack. We did really was getting at the watch mark and the loop of charm. Tower to the clutch there. But it's because I've bought this three. My point of what on our packs we have a ten fifty voucher journey. And you yeah. have it in this system to bear multiple charge with some, yeah, together to have uh, to get the lead out of the way quick. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, what do you see in the future of the other channel? What do you say? Do you say it for ways? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a very exciting segment to be in right now. Uh, it's what we did pretty much at it. Certainly past it, but see, uh, but it has a lot of the coke, uh, especially in the low horse power circuit right now, and that's very good. Compromise is, uh, very good, um, and I guess, reasonable enough to be able to see, uh, as battery psychology, and the others, uh, uh, the bit like, see, watchable. 
kind of innovation in the uh, exposure to the high horsepower market right now. Oh, well, this is where it makes sense for us. We're happy to be a plug. Guard, thank you for your time. Awesome, thanks, Dr. Shannon, for cool. See you. Hello, so am I here with today? Hi, my name is Brian. Brian Brost, I am director of product here within the Ashraf Corporation. I specifically work for Big Dealers. Uh, we're a company within Ashraf that films our records back in the exact C19. So, and then what are some other beefs that are uh, uh, this? Or uh, it's just going to us our facility. Sure. So, Ashraf Corporation, so we were founded in 1917 and that primary path to drought also dry technology. And so, you know, for the, the past hundred plus years, uh, you know, we have used been with many different applications. So right now you're standing in the neighborhood of the So the vehicles that you see here are in our big our financial segment. So we build rep, uh, trucks for the refuse segment. Uh, we build fire trucks, fire emergency vehicles. Uh, we also build with truck and uh, induction rate vehicle that's under our defense segment. So we, we build state national order in the US military and our allies. Uh, we also have an access segment. So uh, if you're used to see orange uh, Aerial lips, and that's under our JLG brand. There's a lot of those over there. Yep. Uh, so that's also a product. It's been like there's also a company called Neurotech that we've been out So many of the uh, gates that you might be blocked here at the airport or the airplanes uh, is made by Ashraf and Lower East. And so we are in the you know, uh, airport business, refuse, fire, mail and delivery, aerial lips, junction sites. Um, and so Oshkosh is a company that's building vehicles for everyday heroes. Uh, while we're here at CES, is, you know, it's one thing to think to build a truck. There's a lot of technology that we need to elucidate, sure to keep those that drive or operator vehicles, how for those that operate around our vehicle is safe. And so using autonomy, using our intelligence, yes. using that in solution to really to bring the best of technology to our trucks and to make them yeah, see what you use them best the time. And then uh, walking by, I saw into one of the banners say uh, electrification. Then, uh, so what are your, what are your companies on it? Is there a guide as a future plan or agile guide that we make? So every single segment within the Ashcrash company is building electric vehicles. So, okay. so the vehicle behind me is not box and electric. Oh, wow. So this will complete a full day's route of breakfast collection on a single charge. Yep. Uh, the Sapphire and emergency vehicle, um, that apparatus is also battery electric. Yep. So it's that particular version, it's, it's hybrid. Um, nobody wants the excuse that you ran out of battery when you need to stop that water out of, out of emergency state. But, um, but that's that's an electric vehicle that could convert over to diesel. Um, in the, the next generation delivery vehicle we have over here, that's fully electric. Rating. And so the U.S. government and their contract class travel is important. Have, have some of the vice vehicles, large ones, and also electrification. Uh, the GL can but it's still electric. Um, and over there, we're definitely probably you can start to it and we'll recharge those vehicles at a construction site. So in every segment of the Ashkosh Corporation, uh, we're electrifying your at least speak. So how do you guys uh, charge this week when you see? Um, it, so it certainly depends on the application. So in the case of, for, you know, refuse collection, you shed, that's uh, in highways and on, on roadways, you know, we use the traditional charging infrastructure. So a level three charger can, can recharge, you know, the truck behind me. Um, in, the, in the case of, you know, construction site where you're not just, you know, normal charging states where you're going to dry them up your lid. Um, there we use a, no, this is God, let's go to this robotics to bring you lunch this less that charging to, to the apparatus. So, you know, charge my own boat. So, uh, you know how there are different years, there's chargers. Yes. So like 80 kilowatts, the one watt, there's two types of watt, but there are only six of the development had so insulated. This megawatt, cool, yeah, kilowatt solid. So what are some of the charging amounts? What are what are the two arguments? Oh, it's like yeah, you know, have us in terms of that how it looks like. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's going to be one time varies. Um, but our our overall aim is to leverage the existing system charging infrastructure that that's available by other companies. So, okay, so Oshkosh work creation on its own is not when we don't manufacture uh, any cloud great charging infrastructure. Is um, we can work with other companies that are out there and make recommendations to our customers. Um, in order to uh, fall, establish that, that infrastructure more than it is, it is not very exclusive. But which in many cases, uh, it does that. Our new electrification, if it's the really trucks that they're buying, that's evil. Uh, you know, they might need some, some guidance on that. And we do look for 
has. There's good ones. There's any companies that might be some that are more prevalent. Maybe I'm a region. I will uh, delivering a vehicle that is is best able to sort of like add a customer there. Uh, is there something that you want to add to you know, the future of the LG Pix in terms of uh, for Hot Arch College and just for the external public IDs? Look, um, listen, you know, I guess what, what I would say is. Uh, it's whole, you know, the hash cash looks back there. Well, it's one thing to, you know, put the better technology and look ready for vehicles. Um, hash cash is very thoughtful. But yeah, how do you know? It's drips in and how we do this. It's, we don't want to say that as much. I don't know. We absolutely want to make sure this is going to do the job that it's designed to do. So we don't have to be a recycling route or a reference route. We're just going to do that. We need to be able to tear you like you operate in the, the, the uh, construction zone well, yeah. around the streets delivering mail or uh, at, at a fire scene we want our our technology to be reliable and deep and festive and biased and that's where Ashcraft is see it's out and I think that's there is goals that are straight and all I see we could thank you thank you for your time you can reach from the public side